Welcome back to Hondukieville, and as promised, we are going to be replacing the chain, for starters. No, 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 we've done the starter. I mean, for starters. So yes, welcome back, and uh, if you're tuning in just to see how to put a chain on a CB750, um, we're going to muddle through it together. I'm sure it can't be that hard. Oh, I say uh, muddle through just because I've never actually put one of these type clips on, but they look easier than the other type, which is messing around with um, clamps and God knows what. I think this would just need a screwdriver and a decent hit with a hammer. Anyway, we'll find out. Um, let's see if the chain fits. Well, needless to say, <laughs> it's the wrong size again. Um, and uh, this is not the recommended way to do it. Uh, but basically I took this uh, angle grinder to the outside edge of uh, this link in the chain, as you can see, not pretty, and then wedged this boy in between, prized it off, and we now have uh, three links less, which is better bloody be right this time. Anyway, you haven't destroyed that factory link, um, you can see the general theory with the, uh, the other boy that pops through there like that. So those pop through like that. Um, rubber doofer either side of the interior link, as you can see there. And then uh, just clip this over the top. Yeah, that's the theory. And there it is with the little pins sitting out. So now we just gotta get those bits on and then clip it in place. Nice fit. Thank you very much, finally. So I use these long nose vice grips, mole grip, whatever you want to call it, uh, just to squeeze that together nicely. And now we should just be able to slip this boy on. There you go. Uh, gentle tap with a, a flathead blade. Didn't need to be as big as this. I just happened to have this one out already. And uh, there it is in place. Lovely. Nice new gold chain. Very nice. Sweet. Turns out there's not that much to do on the old CB. Yeah. Um, oil, got to fill it up with oil. Sort out the electrics, uh, just uh, get rid of that mess under the seat. Put the seat on, whatever that may look like, and I think it's going to look like this. Yes, like that, the imperfect prototype. Uh, I'm, go I'm just going to go with that for it now. It fits. And talking of fitting, uh, then uh, just fit the exhaust up, which Adam has got right now. He's going to be shaving off five mil off those uh, off the thick end, and then we can fit that up and um, fire it up, I guess. Right? A bit exciting. Wait for the fuel leaks. Yeah, it's okay. We have extinguishers. Right. Let's get uh, oiling up. Uh, okay. Routine maintenance. Oil. Mm, Castrol GTX. Great smell. Uh, every 2,000 miles. Wow. Or three months. Mm. Okay. Anyway, good job is uh, oil tank capacity. None of that helps. What's that in quartz? Eight pints in a gallon, right? Even in the US can't remember if I tighten those up or not, so I'm just going to check before we start throwing oil in there. Never mind, it's not Castrol, it's Yamaloop. And uh, thankfully we've got litres here. So, uh, yeah, that's not helpful either, is it? Anyway, we've got about one and a half litres left in that. So we need two litres out of that. Okay. I can work with that. Well, tightening those up and this boy just kept spinning. And as you can see, there's some threadage going on there, which is not good news. I've actually ordered a helicoil kit to, uh, to sort out that one that was just spinning. Never done one of those before, so that'd be interesting for all of us, hopefully. 
if you're not familiar with helicoils, basically uh, you drill the hole out slightly bigger, you tap it, the helicoil fits into that hole, you screw it in uh, with this little boy here, and uh, then you've got your 6mm thread back, or whatever mil it is. So we'll see how that works out, eh? Well, I think I was just saying the other day, uh, whether it was this series or the Kawasaki series, that I don't want to keep buying special tools and things. But that said, uh, I have the need for a helicoil. Uh, so I bought a kit, because it wasn't that much more expensive than just buying a bag of helicoils. So, we so we're ready to tackle that uh, threaded hole. Dreaded hole. Yes, a certain amount of intrepidation involved here. Don't want to screw it up. And of course, all these are unique to this operation, size-wise. Uh, it's a 6.3 mil drill, and then uh, likewise with the tapping, that's the slightly oversized to fit the outside of the helicoil, and then the inside is your regular 6 mil. So, let's get on with it. Seeing as it's precision surgery, uh, the rest of the bike is uh, wrapped up and um, clean. Stage one, hole successfully drilled. Stage two, tapping it. Well, that actually didn't go so well because the uh, supplied tap did not, I mean, it just sailed straight into the hole and I literally just drilled the hole, pulled it out. Uh, no no faffing about. So I've got an M7, because these are M6, I've got an M7, so I'm gently, gently tapping it with an M7, because I happen to have some M7 bolts from the Stratos. So, yeah, plan B. Ever so gently. I'm guessing the casing is aluminium, so. That's now tapped out with thread uh, for the M7. And uh, if you watch the Lancia Stratos episodes at all, uh, you may remember we had some issues with these M7 bolts on the rocker covers being slightly too long and I had the same worry about what I'm about to use. Luckily, one of the shorter ones left. Probably saving that for the Stratos, but we can get some more. Well, I threaded that in very gingerly, and that's not being racist, Mr. Tyndall. And uh, there's still a bit of a gap. Yeah, quite a bit of a gap. So I don't want to take it any further. don't want to screw that up. I'm going to pull that out and get a super short M7. That'll be easy to find. Not. So what I reckon we're looking for is an M7 by 15 mil or less, honestly. But we can't go too small because there's a big shoulder on, um, on the actual fitting. So yeah, M7 by 15. Uh, and some hen's teeth and a uh, and a bag of rocking horse shit at the same time. Meanwhile, I have some more tools. I've put them on the bottom because I hope I never have to use them. But it's nice to have them there. So it turned out the shorter 7mm bolts that I ordered were too short. So I measured it all again. And uh, the situation was that I hadn't actually tapped out the hole threaded it enough for that boy to go in all the way so that's the original slightly shorter stratos bolt now in and um snugly tight actually so i guess we can fill out the other one better put the brake pedal back on i suppose all righty so we're all tightened up down there we're all tightened up on the filter itself we're all tightened up on the drain plug, somewhere down there. Time to fill her up, I think. If you see any large oil slicks, uh, please uh, let me know. 
No, no, I didn't use the whole bottle, can, whatever the hell. Um, I had some leftover. However, I did actually really kind of brim it. So hopefully we're all good. Anyway, no slicks so far. So we can tick that off the list. That leaves tidying up the electrics, which I don't bother you with. Uh, the seat uh, installation, basically exhaust. For Adam to weld it and uh, uh, weld it. Did I tell you about that? Yeah. So he was going to take five mil off the cylinder head end, so that the clamps would actually fit over the studs. And uh, he discovered brand new product. Yeah, Delftjevic, comma Iceland. Full stop. Uh, cracks in the pipes. Hmm, not good. Not for 400 and something bucks worth of exhaust. I mean, that's not a bad price, but... So, I should be writing them a stiff letter. That means it will be on at least 90 gram paper. Anyway, next time you see that, it will look a lot better. Hopefully. Well, I don't know. It doesn't look that much better, does it? But it is, honestly. It's rerouted and everything else. And uh, we wedged the battery in. You can't even see it now. But there's a beautiful bit of packaging from a couple of electric pepper grinders, um, pepper and salt grinders. And uh, amazingly, the rest of the packaging is perfect for sitting to the bottom of the seat to kind of sit in there and just isolate all those electrics because we don't want any shorts on the bottom of the seat do we now there's worse places possibly that you could have a short than just below your testicles or your hoo-ha or whatever you want to call it just gonna goop that on then gooped just as we were getting through the list i've uh, thought of some other things that need doing hmm well, I guess that's about it for this time. So next time around, we'll be fitting the exhaust for real, hopefully. Uh, sorting out all those other little bits and pieces and uh, hopefully trying to fire it up. So that'll be exciting. Anyway, as usual, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And if you thought the video was any good, give it a thumbs up. Um, what else? Uh, encourage others to watch my lunacy.